Every year I drive thousands of miles across Europe in search of carp and I've fished some fantastic places in that time. You know, some of them are under the radar, some of them are very well known waters. If there's one country that often gets overlooked though, it has to be Poland. I've had some fantastic trips out there and they got some really nice waters. I've been lucky enough to fish some great ones from right up in the north to right down the south. Catching some nice fish along the way as well. They've got some really nice dark mirrors and commons out there. But surprisingly they've got a lot of big fish in certain lakes as well. And if you can find them, they are catchable. <laughs> I've been lucky enough to get me hands on a few over the years. But but this time it was nice to head back to where it all began and to get me a chance to fish the water where it all started for me in Poland. Well, it's a lovely warm day in Poland and uh, we're in the middle of Poland, not far from Poznan, a lake called Goslowice and uh, it was actually the first lake I ever fished in Poland about five or six years ago. I was invited over by Przemek Moroczek who runs Carpmax magazine over here uh, and this is where we came and it, we had a great trip, um, caught some lovely fish, I remember catching a 45 pound mirror which was uh, fantastic for me first time over here um, so it's really nice to be back here actually and there's been quite a few changes and uh, all for the better but I'll talk to you about those as time goes on at the moment it's just lovely to be here and looking forward to fishing this again After the long journey across Europe, which covered five countries, we was quite tired of course. But looking around the swim, I could see fish showing and not too far from our swim. So I took the decision to get the rods out quick, and it didn't take long to get the first fish. <laughs> well, welcome to Poland. Talk about a quick start. Literally, uh, hadn't even switched the alarm on. <laughs> Just dropped a little Scopex squid pop up out there and uh, came back and I was just putting the indicator on I thought let's tighten it up and uh, yeah sure, sure enough there was one on there must have virtually taken it on the drop and uh, yeah not massive but a Polish mirror and uh, typical of the fish from here actually lovely and dark I love these fish from here and yeah absolutely gorgeous what a start <laughs> didn't take long at all <laughs> Happy days, eh? Welcome to Poland, like I say. Good to be back here. <laughs> well, last time we fished here, we was across the other side, in Swim 14 over there, and uh, one of the changes that they've made is there's now a cabin on that swim, and so there is in Swim 4 where we are and uh, we decided to have a bit of comfort this time, why not? Um, but there's a few other changes, uh, the most notable one is that they've raised the water level um, by about three quarters of a metre, which, you know, it meant a lot of work. Uh, they've actually had to rebuild all of the platforms, all the old platforms are actually still down there under this one and they've built a new one on top, you know, to um, keep it above the water basically. Um, but what it's meant, you know, a whole new volume, the lake's about 63 acres in size, but it was quite shallow, it was about four foot on average, so another sort of three foot on top of that is, is a huge amount of extra water, and the fish have responded really well, you know, there's a lot of good fish coming through, there's, there's three known 30 kilo fish now, and a lot of 20 kilo fish, and um, you know, it's, it's really becoming one of the very best lakes in Poland. I wouldn't be surprised if it does the Polish record in the next year or two. So, uh, you know, I'll be coming back here a few more times, I reckon. <laughs> well, this is the cabin, and they said there'd just be a couple of beds in here, but this is fabulous. 
cooker, cutlery, cupboards, wardrobes, comfortable beds and a nice view over the lake. This is a bit of luxury for sure, this is lovely. Well, I was hoping for a good night's sleep last night. First night after a long drive, um, but it certainly never happened. <laughs> uh, it was six bites from from evening through till just now. Uh, one was lost, one was a common, the rest were mirrors, but um, this was the best one of the lot, just over 30 pound, 30 pound eight. Well, all but one rod went off, uh, at least a couple of times. So, uh, you know, in the end I just left them in. Um, but things are looking good, you know, we made a great start. Anyway, I'm very tired, but, um, you know, it's first day and uh, I've had five already. So, there we go, it's all good stuff. Well, it's the last rod to go off, and actually, first one I put out. It's funny, uh, I always, tend to look out there and choose a spot what I think is the best and my first rod always goes on that and uh, well shows what I know doesn't it <laughs> so that was the last one to go but it did go anyway another cracking mirror quite warm so I'm not gonna hang about with this one There's loads of horse flies that about that are keen for me blood as well so but there we go getting back another fish 27 pound this one It is so hot today. Thankfully there's a little breeze got up now, but cool, it is a hot one. Quite shallow, well very shallow really by normal standards. Probably most of it six foot deep, six, seven foot deep. And so imagine the water's quite warm. There's a lot of weed out here. See uh, what's in the bottom of the boat there is what I've dragged up and down. Um, but action doesn't seem to be a problem. First day, had six bites between yesterday evening and this morning. Uh, no sound or anything really, I'm just uh, feeling around. You can see I've got quite a big snowman on there. 20mm scopic squid with a fluoro pink pop-up. All I'm doing is just feeling around, very soft bottom now. You know, depth ain't really the important thing here basically what I'm feeling for you can see I've got weed there so all I'm feeling for is a spot in between the weed beds really area see that feels that feels nice there I'm going to drop it right there it's clear a little bit firmer donk I like that yeah that's nice Don't mind it being close to wheat as long as it's not actually in it. Uh, not going to do much more than that actually. A little bit of hemp. Yeah, it's uh, not too precise as you can see at the moment. You know, it's still very early days yet so I'm still getting sorted as I started to get the spots established and kept the bait going in the activity definitely started to pick up the fish were moving in around the baited areas for sure and you could see the signs of fish all over the place. Poles were starting to knock and fish were starting to show and it was looking really good. I could even see some fish cruising around on the top 
A lot of them turned out to be grass carp actually. And although I've never actually caught a grass carp out the lake, so um, it was quite strange to see so many around the areas I was fishing. But the alarms kept sounding and every time they did, there was carp on the end. Well, not the biggest one, but certainly the prettiest. There aren't many scaly ones at the moment. I know there's a few nice scaly ones in here, uh, but this is absolutely gorgeous. Love catching these types of fish. And of course, um, it might look very much like an old English style fish, and uh, that's because we're sort of in the Galicia area of Poland. And of course, you know, when people talk about the old Galician strains in England, those big old lovely scaly ones from the 60s and 70s, well, that's why this is where they come from. <laughs> so, so if it looks a bit English, now you know why. But an absolutely lovely fish. Well pleased with this one. I was hoping to get one, like I say, and here it is. Hopefully it's a few more to come. Lots of weeded up, there's a lot of them, a lot of them get so weeded up. Nice one. Nice. Yeah, not massive, but uh, a nice one. Nice. Chunky mirror, 27 pound. Oh, gave an absolute belting run as well. Whew, just replaced this one. I think I had a take in the night actually, and uh, it just gone about three foot into a lump of weed and stopped. <laughs> so I sort of missed out on that one. I thought it just dropped it or something. But it come off, so I redid it this morning, about an hour ago, and, and off it's gone with this one. So it's worth doing. But yeah, a lovely one. Nice chunky one, like I say. Besides the carp lake, Kozlovica is actually a working fish farm. And it was really nice to be given a guided tour one afternoon. It was fascinating stuff. Well, besides the lakes, or well, the actual carp lake, there's a massive breeding and spawning program. I mean, you look at this channel, how far that stretches. They've actually got two of these channels. A lot of it's full of sturgeon. As you can see, there's a little baby one there, but this one's actually full of carp. They produce caviar here, which is the reason for the sturgeon. But this is amazing, absolutely amazing. It's full of carp, this is. <laughs> And the one next door, there's the sturgeon. Uh. 
There was no doubt that a lot of time, effort and indeed money had gone into Goslivica in the years since we'd last been there. And it was easy to see looking around the improvements that had been made there. And all for the anglers. We had a long chat with the owner one day and his main business is the fish farm. But he really wants to keep the lake improving all the time. We only had to sit there and look around to see the improvements. They were clear to see all around the lake and it was a pleasure just to be there. But of course, there was one main reason for us being there and that was to catch the fish. And there was plenty of them still to come. in the swim. Kai, it's been quiet for a been quiet for a couple of hours. I try having a sleep and then we get two rounds at once. So a nice mirror and a nice common in there. So there we go. Oh, it all happens at once. First one. Nice mirror. Yeah, cracking fish. <laughs> Quickly. There we go. Thirty three pound, thirty three and a quarter. Polish carp. <laughs> yeah. Well done. All right. I'm struggling to hold it, but... Okay, we've got it. All right. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you, pet. <laughs> well, the mirror was a cracker. 30, 33, but I think this might be a little bit bigger, even. Whoa, yeah, lovely. That's, that's a cracker. Wow, they're so lively. Ooh. Hold on, hold on. Little bonus roach. There we are. Scope that squid snowman. Oh, yeah, you're gorgeous, eh? is wow that's a fraction over 40 oh. fraction over 40 that is lovely well absolute cracker this one had a couple of commons already uh, smaller ones but this was an absolute beast just over 40 pound 40 pound eight and uh, literally, whoa, we were both playing fish at the same time. But um, they're getting bigger, which is really nice. And it's strange that um, like I'm putting baits out, and this one was out about 30 hours, 30, 36 hours. And uh, all of them go off eventually. You know, some go off quick, some take a little bit longer, but wherever I drop the baits, Sooner or later they go off and so this one had been out a while but when it did go off it was with this cracker on the end so uh, as long as it's on the right spot a nice little firm spot out there in amongst the soft stuff uh, sooner or later I know it's gonna go
As the days and nights passed by, the action kept coming consistently. It was clear they loved the bait and I was putting it out day and night and the action was coming day and night as well. It was brilliant, but we was having some good fun as well. The Polish guys are really good friends of ours now and uh, we've enjoyed fishing with them immensely. We was having a great time. It really had been a great trip to Goslovica. It'd been nice to go back after five years and see the place again and see how it had changed. And it had really changed for the better. We had loads of action, loads of nice fish. But unfortunately, time always runs out. Well, that's another trip done. Just the last few bits to put away now. But it's been a great week, actually. I really enjoyed coming back here to Goslovica. And, uh, well, I enjoyed it so much, we've already made plans to come back next year. Because it's that good, it's lovely here. And it's not expensive to fish either, that's the thing, and everyone's welcome. So, uh, yeah, great place, we've had some great fish, and uh, we've had a good time. But that's it for now, so see you next time.